Hello and welcome to Skyria.com. My name is Dr. Heather Ali. With Skyria.com, you can enjoy thousands of lectures anywhere at any time. Today, we are going to talk about another very important part of acute vomiting. Let's go to the outline of the topic. We'll talk about some of the common diseases which are termed, which are discussed on the differential diagnosis. For example, we'll talk about more in detail about an acetaminophen toxicity. We'll talk about uh, acute appendicitis and acute pancreatitis. We'll talk about aspirin toxicity, and we'll talk about more in detail about Borhaf syndrome. Further differential diagnosis, we'll more talk about testicular torsion and ovarian torsion. We'll talk about more detail about ureteric colic, the signs and symptoms, how they present, and what are the diagnostic of the ureteric colic. We'll talk about the vertigo, what might be the cause of the vertigo, and its, it, its association with vomiting. What are the different types of vertigo, and what are the treatment remedies we, we have for vertigo in emergency department. We'll talk more on interception. We'll talk more on volvulus, typically in, in, child, in children. We'll talk more on mesenteric ischemia. We'll talk about myocardial infarction and its association with vomiting. We'll talk about gastroenteritis, which includes abdominal uh, with vomiting and diarrhea. We'll talk about the pathway or approach of general treatment plans we have for our patients with vomiting, how to assess if the patient is in circulatory collapse, and how to assess if the patient is stable, and what to do if the patient is in circulatory collapse. We'll talk in detail about the general treatment plans we have for volume replacement in patients with vomiting and nausea. We will want to we'll talk about in detail the receptors, the treatment modalities, and the pharmacology of antiemetics, how they're affected and what are the doses required, how much to be given. We'll talk in detail about uh, antiemetics. Then we'll, we'll touch and go simple, uh, uh, some special population, which includes pediatric population, elderly population, and pregnant females. How is pediatric population different from young population? And how much focus should be given to elderly population presenting with vomiting? And what should be done in, in pregnant females who are with hyper MSS gravidum, gravidarum? We'll talk about palliative care, how to approach a patient with, uh, in, in, under the end of the life care or palliative care, how to treat them and how to relieve them for uh, how to provide them symptomatic relief. Then at the end, we'll talk more in detail about the disposition of the patient, whom should we get admitted and whom could be sent home, what is per oral trial challenge. We'll talk more in detail about it. With Escalia.com, you can enjoy thousands of lectures on basic sciences and clinical sciences. Start your free trial today. Thank you for watching Escalia.com.